hello there friends I hope that you're doing well so how to update the BIOS for uh, this motherboard from MSI B450M Pro VDH uh, V2 uh, by the way if you don't have the V2 and you have just the normal version you can do the same steps only that you need to search for the BIOS uh, files for that uh, motherboard just use uh, Google so uh, this is the the MSI website and it uh, displays here all the BIOS versions you will need only the latest one <coughs> but before that you need to install a chipset driver uh, because uh, it's saying here on this uh, BIOS version from 2018 MSI strongly recommends to update AMD chipset driver to this version so uh, what you need to do is to go to driver and you will have find here the driver that you need in my case I have Windows 10 I select here download and install just click uh, next next after that you need to download the latest BIOS version you can skip all the other versions you can just directly install the latest one click on download and it will download the BIOS uh, file you need to extract it and you can just copy this uh, only this file on a USB stick so just a normal USB stick uh, you just insert it to your com computer uh, it uh, needs to not have any other files just uh, quick format it or delete everything and just copy this file and uh, that's pretty much it after that you just uh, restart your computer you press the delete key many times and uh, in order to enter BIOS and from there you will see an option flash click on that the computer will restart and will uh, display the the flash interface so uh, in uh, part 2 I'm going to show you exactly how you make the, the update in case the you don't you just uh, see the flash interface and you don't see any file on your USB stick that means that the BIOS the BIOS version uh, the file that you have on the stick is not compatible with your uh, motherboard in that case I would recommend to look in BIOS for the exact name of your uh, motherboard and you need to be sure that you you copy on the USB stick the, the correct file right so see you in part 2 okay after we have uh, uh, restarted and uh, hit delete to enter BIOS we click on uh, M flash and then yes Now the computer will uh, restart and uh, enter the flash mode. Okay, so once the the BIOS restarts, it will uh, start M flash, and you will see here your uh, USB stick, and this is the the BIOS update file. Just click on it and click yes, and now it will say BIOS is updating and it will uh, the percentage will increase to four uh, it's really important not to turn off the PC during the update because uh, this will be really bad it will uh, mess up the the motherboard uh, one thing to be uh, sure uh, you need to be sure is to check from uh, the initial BIOS the name of the of the motherboard because in some cases some motherboards have like uh, V1, V2 
and uh, when you bought the the motherboard the motherboard maybe you are not aware which version you bought and uh, if you download the the wrong BIOS from uh, in this case the MSI website uh, it could be possible that when you copy the the file on the USB can, USB stick and from uh, the the flash interface it will not uh, display the file so you won't be able to make the update so you just need to be sure that uh, you know a hundred percent the name of your uh, motherboard so you download the the correct uh, uh, BIOS file right 30% so it seems that uh, the update takes around uh, 5 to 6 minutes uh, this is the latest uh, BIOS for uh, this uh, motherboard and it will uh, make the motherboard compatible with the latest Ryzen processors in my case I plan to to upgrade to a Ryzen uh, 5 uh, 5500 currently I'm using a Ryzen 3 1200 which is the the cheapest one the 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 first Ryzen uh, processor it's also a few generations old so uh, after the the update I plan to install the new processor and hopefully it will work just fine. So after the update reaches 100% it should do a restart and that's pretty much it. You're uh, safe to to install the, the processor. However, if you don't plan to make any upgrades um, I, I mean regarding the, the processor it's just uh, it's not that useful to make the the BIOS update it won't help you with uh, anything it's uh, also pretty risky if as I said the power goes off during the update it will mess up the the motherboard so um, outside upgrading the CPU there is no reason to to update the BIOS if the the version that you're using is stable and your computer runs fine without any errors just don't do any BIOS update so almost 70 percent as we can see this BIOS version is from 2022 July 25 and in the middle we see the the version it's E7A38AMS and it's uh, V8 version 8 don't shut down or restart system until BIOS update process is completed notice mouse and keyboard would be locked during updating so you don't uh, press anything by mistake so the the video is almost five minutes long so I guess just six minutes the whole update takes let's see what happens after the restart hundred so five minutes and twenty seconds now the computer restarts it shut down uh, completely and now it should uh, start back
it's displaying the Pro Series logo as uh, the previous BIOS. Let's see if uh, it will enter BIOS or directly start to Windows. So it seems that it starts to Windows right away. And uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, this is the whole update. Just need to be careful to follow the exact steps. Alright, so this was the BIOS version uh, update. I hope that uh, you found the video useful. If you did, please subscribe and thank you for watching.